rest, being as an introduction to series of sequences, we need to know what these objects are because they don't have a neat like connection to any of the other topics that you've done so far. So I'm going to introduce some language for you, right? Now, before I even get to any of these, I want to tell you about an object called, or a thing called a set. Some of you have heard of this before, okay? A set is a very, very basic uh, type of thing, type of object in mathematics, okay? Uh, some might say it's the most basic, actually. A set is very simply a collection of objects. Mathematical objects, generally, and the main kind of mathematical objects that we're interested in are numbers, but sets can contain other things as well, okay? Now, the important thing is, it, it's a bunch of things, right? And you just have them all together, and you kind of have them in a pile, right? So here's my set of whiteboard markers, okay? And this set of whiteboard markers, I can shuffle them around, I can, I can have doubles of, I still have the same set, okay? So the important thing is that just there's, there's a collection of them, okay? Now, a sequence takes that idea, and it just adds a little bit of nuance to it. A sequence is a collection of objects with order, right? And you can hear it in the word sequence. Like when we say something is sequential, uh, what we mean is these objects are ordered and that order really, really, really matters, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about later on, we'll see how we go for time, uh, exactly how much it matters. You'll be surprised how much it matters. But now we have two kinds of things here. Let's try and compare them, okay? So not that it's as important, but I will show you the notation for how to indicate a set. It's very simple. You draw one of these curly braces, okay? And then you simply write down whatever number of objects that you have, and um, you separate them by commas, okay? So for example, here is um, a set of objects, okay? And it's important because it's just, it's just a bunch of things, right? Their order doesn't matter. So these two sets are literally identical to each other, okay? I've changed their order, but the set doesn't care, okay? Just like my pencil case doesn't care, the, all the whiteboard markers just fly around everywhere, it's the same set of whiteboard markers, okay? And it's worth mentioning that this collection, right? These two here, they each have three objects in them. They're of finite size, but they don't have to be, okay? In fact, most of the sets that we know about uh, or that you work with are not finite. So we will say they are either finite you can count the number of objects in there, or they just kind of go on forever. They can be infinite. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, sequences are denoted in exactly the same way as sets, just without the braces. Okay? So, for example, here is a sequence. Okay? Now, this sequence, 1 and then 4 and then 7, is completely different from 7 and then 4 and then 1. Different sequences, different rules, okay? Even though they have the same objects in them. Now, even though we're not going to really address it today, I, since we're doing the introduction, I will tell you as well what a series is. These ideas nest within each other. A set's a collection of objects. A sequence is what happens when you take those objects and you, you put an order on them. And a series is what happens when you take a sequence, which is ordered, and you add them all up, right? So this is the sum of a sequence. So instead of 1, comma 4, comma 7, 1 plus 4 plus 7, that's a series, okay? So yeah. Um, could sets have like rules that govern like which um, like position, like lesser numbers? Oh. About like coordinates? No, no, not really. And that's one of the interesting things about them. Like there is a whole, there's a whole field of mathematics about sets, and none of the things in them care about position. As soon as you, as soon as you say anything about, oh, I want it to be this and then this and then this, then then you've crossed over into sequence territory. Okay. And in fact, sequence is what we're going to focus on 